Okay, so parts three and four of the rear wing build are all going to be revolving around the supports for the wing. So the parts that actually connect your uprights to the wing and the uprights themselves. So this is a 3D printed mold that I'm going to be using for the, the not the uprights, but the part that actually connects the uprights to the wing. So this profile here is going to match up with the underside of the wing and then it obviously 90s down to supports and it actually has different adjustment holes. My plan is that when I vacuum carbon down to this, it'll actually detent into these holes just a little bit and then I can see where they are and I can drill them. That way the dimension from this point to these four adjustment holes back here is all the same arc. So center to center distance is the same for all of them. So if I don't have to measure those out by hand, then it makes parts uniform. And honestly, it's just the best way to go. And I've always been curious if this is gonna work or not. So we're gonna try it. Okay, so this is the underside. So this is where the glass surface, that's why you get a really nice smooth finish. And some of this haze is just some wax that's left over from on the, on the glass. So I can just kind of buff that off and this will turn out really, really nice. Um, where this kind of line is, that's the edge of the edge of the cores inside, just cause the, the vacuum can't press right there because there's a core edge. So it kind of gives you a really good idea of where you can rough cut things to start to get in your, your pieces out of this big, big piece. But this is the last, the last pieces that needed to be made before I can start actually trimming and cutting the wings. So, and assembling it all together. So that's, that's the next step. All right, change of any time because we're now ready to cut everything. So we got our wing to upright brackets, adapters, whatever you want to call them. The wing itself, 
and our two uprights and our two end plates. So we're in the garage, we'll get the box fan set up, blow this dust outside as we're cutting it, and hopefully within an hour or so, you can actually see how this thing kind of looks on the car, which will be very exciting and highly motivating. So let's get to it. <laughs> 